What's up everyone, Narukami here, and I'm here to bring you guys the definitive Abuki's Beginner's Guide. Abuki is a character with a fast walk speed that relies on converting neutral hits to pressure or mix up opportunity. Now in order to accomplish this gameplay, we're going to be taking a look at Abuki's toolkit, which can be broken down into four main parts. These parts are useful buttons, combos and Oki, V skills, and V triggers. Let's jump right into it. Abuki's main buttons can be simplified to the use of eight different buttons. And they are stand light kick, stand medium punch, crouching medium punch, stand medium kick, crouching medium kick, forward heavy kick, back medium punch, and crouching heavy punch. Each one of these buttons is crucial for helping Abuki execute a game plan. Let's take a closer look at them. Stand light kick. Abuki stand light kick is a 4 frame normal that has far reach. This is Abuki's main go to punish on problematic 4 frame moves such as Barrack's dash straight, but can also function as a mid range poke as well due to its reach and speed. Stand medium punch. This is a 5 frame normal that provides Abuki frame advantage with it being plus 2 on block. Since it is plus, it makes it an excellent button to use when Abuki is up close to pressure and frame trap the opponent with. Crouching medium punch. Abuki's crouching medium punch is a 6 frame normal, and this is the button that you will primarily use in neutral because of the versatility this normal provides. This normal has the ability to poke, whiff punish, or counter poke buttons in almost all ranges. Stand medium kick. This is a 6 frame normal that also provides a frame advantage of plus 2, making it another normal you can use up close to frame trap with. But understand that since this move is 6 frames, you cannot use 2 stand medium kicks back to back to frame trap 3 frame characters because they can just mash you out of your pressure. Crouching medium kick. Abuki's crouching medium kick is a 7 frame normal that is a low. This is a button you want to use at close range to poke at your opponent's feet when they are playing neutral in this close range which I consider the dash range. Forward Heavy Kick. Abuki's Forward Heavy Kick is a 14 frame normal that has crush counter properties. This button is going to be used up close because it can go over lows. It can also be used to punish opponents that like to throw fireballs up close. Back Medium Punch and Crouching Heavy Punch. Both of these normals are 7 frames and can be used to anti-air from about character starting position to just slightly outside the dash range. Using these normals in any other range will not allow you to anti-air with them so make sure you are mindful and are positioning yourself well to be able to anti-air properly. Abuki has two main combo enders and they are Light Punch Rida and Heavy Kick DP. Abuki's Rida causes a knockdown that can only be Quick Tech while Abuki's Heavy Kick DP knockdown can be both Quick Tech and Back Tech. Now that we cover the knockdown properties of each move, let's look at how you can get Oki from each knockdown. After a Light Punch Rider or Heavy Kick DP knockdown situation, you're going to want to dash forward. The dash forward will leave you at plus 4 on Light Punch Rider knockdown. Now you can choose to meet you with any 7 frame or less move, but the preferred rate of meeting off of a Light Punch Rider is with Crouching Light Kick because it's a low that can combo and stand light kick without counter hit because the crouching light kick will hit on later active frames of the move. Now that we covered the rider situation, let's look at the heavy kick DP knockdown situation. The dash forward leaves you at plus 6 on quick tech, plus 11 on back tech. On quick tech, you have the option of going for a media throw or 9 frames or less normal. While on back tech, you can go for a 40 frame or less normal in addition to the throw, but understand that less frame normals and the throw have to be mailing time because the additional frame advantage that back tech provides comes with the drawback of not having frame perfect meetings for throw and lower frame norm. So that's Ibuki's Oki in a nutshell. Now that they recover it, you're gonna need some basic combos to get these knocked down. So here are some basic combos that you can do.
Ibuki's few skill 1 was initially designed as a way for the character to deal with zoning because it can negate one hit of a fireball. However, due to it being relatively slow, it is hard to use this view skill the way it was intended. Although you can't use it to negate fireballs consistently, you can use the view skill in other ways because it has a unique real back property. This real back property allows you to use this view skill as a neutral poke, a block string enter, or it has a defensive tool. These additional usage make Abuki's view skill one her most flexible and go to view skill. Abuki's view skill two is an instant mix up opportunity from anywhere on the screen for the cost of one bar. Not only does this V-Skill provide mix-up anywhere across the screen, it can cover V-Shifts due to it having the property of being able to reposition once with a load normal. Although V-Skill 1 is a more preferred choice, V-Skill 2 provides you with the opportunity to play a more mix-up heavy style with the Buki. If this is your style you preferred, here are some V-Skill 2 mix-ups that you can get started with. Abuki's V-Trigger 1 is a 3-bar V-Trigger that has 2 uses. This is her more damaging V-Trigger because it can get pretty good damage for very little resources. Although this V-Trigger is more of a damaging V-Trigger, it can be used to give you some mix-up opportunities when activated on hit or block. So here are some mix-ups you can do with this V-Trigger. Abuki's V-Trigger 2 is a 2-bar V-Trigger and is her more preferred V-Trigger because it has more utility than V-Trigger 1. This V-Trigger can anti-air, whiff punish, and even punish moves that are 7 frames or less. In addition to the utilities that this V-Trigger provides, you can get mix-ups on hit and on block as well. So here are some of the mix-ups you can do. So that covers everything you need to know about this character. Learning how to use each and every one of these tools will go a long way in helping you become better with the character. And who knows, with dedication and consistent practice, you too can become an Ibuki master. Now, if you want to learn how you can master other elements of the game besides Ibuki, I'm going to link a couple videos that are going to pop up in the info card and they're going to be on the end screen and in the description down below as well. So go ahead and take a look at these videos because I think they'll be helpful for you. Anyways, remember the two greatest commandments of all. Love the Lord God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. Take care, and I'll see you later. Peace.